All I wanted to do is really share with you the principle of marketing. Because marketing is not about price. Marketing is about value. And value is perception, not reality. We didn't have the best deal, but wow, could we promote it as the best deal. You don't have to have the best hamburger to sell most of them. But what you do have to do is you have to become a master marketeer and a master sales business because that is where you get infinite growth in your business. You can cut costs. When you start copying costs too much, you rip down the fundamental infrastructure of the business so it can't survive. But marketing and selling gives you something that no other strategy can give you. Top line revenue that is infinite. And if I can give you one bit of advice that I've learned, if you want to build any great business, be really good at selling and marketing because it never stops. And it is amazing what results you'll get if you understand the principles behind it. I want you to understand for a small business, marketing and selling is actually not separated. They are one in the same unit. Okay, um, many large organisations, you have a marketing department, you have a sales department, they're little silos, they don't like each other. Okay, in a small business, marketing and selling are unified because fundamentally they do different aspects of the same job and you need to combine marketing and selling together. This is what we're actually going to do. I want to also make sure that you're aware that what I'm about to go through is having dealt with over 10,000 spoken to over 10,000 business people around the world. What I'm about to now give you is not specific to retail. It is very, very adaptable for any business, either B2B service-based business or product-based businesses. I've used examples, but you'll see during this workshop that it is very, very applicable to any business under any circumstance in any environment. First of all, let's try to define what is marketing. Marketing is not advertising. Advertising is a component of marketing. It tends to be the most attractive. And we sometimes get confused saying, I can't do marketing because I have no money. You may have no money for advertising, but there are infinite other marketing strategies that can be applied in business. I'm going to actually target low-cost marketing strategies today because I realise that cash is king and the key to marketing is to reduce the cost of a client. Reduce the cost of a client. Because really there are only two ways to build a business. Reduce the cost of acquisition and increase the life of an existing customer. So let's just go to page 98 and try to define what is marketing in a very simplistic way. Marketing is this, your business communicating to your target market. So the first basic assumption is that you actually know who your target market is. One of the most amazing opportunities that you have is that you actually have to become a niche marketeer. Don't be a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Focus on your target market and be very specific because as soon as you can be specific, you can target your marketing and reduce your costs dramatically. And it's about knowing who your target market is and what you have to offer and whether they will either accept or reject your offer. That's marketing. So it's your business communicating to your target market about what you have to offer and whether they will accept or reject your offer. The role of any business is to solve people's problems. You don't sell. You never sell. You are a problem solver. And fundamentally, if you are selling to a consumer, they have problems. Now, they may not be real problems. They might be problems where they want to feel better. 
okay, they could be psychological problems, okay? In a business-to-business environment, their problem is, show me how I can make more money or show me how I can increase my sales. See, you can't prescribe until you've done the diagnosis. And what a lot of marketing is, and a lot of what a selling is, is this absolute garbage where we push the product before we even understand if there's a problem. The key to marketing is I've got to establish what the problem is. Then I've got to highlight the problem back to my target audience. I've got to stir them emotionally so they get to a point where they say, how can you help me? All of marketing is, is basically trying to understand what their problem is and positioning it correctly. If you want to be a great marketeer, you've got to understand that you've got to invest in people before they invest in you. Quite simply, you've got to imagine your prospect as being a bit like an ATM machine. And in this wonderful ATM machine, what we sometimes try to do is we always want to make the withdrawal. But you can't make the withdrawal until you've made the deposits. And here's the key. The more you deposit, the more you withdraw. Selling and marketing is basically ensuring that you've deposited enough so when you make the withdrawal, you make a major withdrawal. What we sometimes do is we try to withdraw on an emotionally empty bank account. We are considered to be then sleazy, we're considered to be pushy, we're considered to be manipulative. It's like going to a doctor and the doctor actually saying to you, Tony, shut up. I'm just going to prescribe you what I think you need. Now, if a doctor did that to you, you would probably send an email to the Australian Medical Association say, this is not a doctor, it's a quack. But we do that sometimes in our business because we become so product focused, we actually forget to listen to what their problems are. Don't sell, help people buy. 